Barbarian that's in charge of the TRC, which is the Teaching Resources Collection. And what this is, is a resource for all of our um, training teachers, uh, people who are studying education, people who are studying um, children's literature. Why don't I take you in and show you what we have? Okay, we're inside the TRC right now. And um, what you'll see um, is that the collection, the room is divided into two different sections. So one has to do with teaching resources. So basically anything that you need for a curriculum development, anything having to do with lesson planning, um, government uh, documents, um, things like that, that, that generally help with, with teaching. And then the other side is divided into children's resources. So what we have over there are picture books, um, young adult novels, um, and other learning um, activities that you can engage with. So when I said that we had other um, resources that you can use besides books, um, what we have are things like story sacks. Um, and inside we have, um, um, sometimes they'll have books in them, sometimes they'll have puppets. Um, this clearly has to do with um, the tiger that came to tea. Um, and um, we have artifacts boxes, which are again related to the curriculum. So if um, anybody's interested in doing lesson plans on say um, ancient Rome or ancient Greece or things that are related to science um, or to history, you know, so for example, we've got the water cycle, um, forces in motion, um, things related to culture or history, like we've got one on Chinese New Year and um, on um, uh, uh, Jewish and, and Hindu um, holidays. That's the kind of stuff that you can check out here. If you take a look around the TRC, the way that uh, the space was designed, um, what we had in mind was that um, in an ideal world, if um, resources weren't a limit for a lot of school districts, um, they could have a school library that would look very similar to this. Um, unfortunately, that's, that's not the case, but we did want people who were um, doing teacher training and having placements in school to um, be able to borrow the resources that we have and maybe bring them um, with them um, to school. Um, what you'll find is um, just lots of different ways to inspire learning with what we have in this room. So what we have in this section is um, our picture books. Um, so uh, this is um, the, the mouse station, which um, won quite of a, a couple of awards a, a few years back when it, it came out. Um, a lot of the books that you'll see here, um, they've been selected because they've won awards or just because you know they've just been popular favorites. Um, I try to keep um, what we have um, in really good condition. So even if we have a classic like um, uh, Where the Wild Things Are, there'll be newer editions of the book. Um, again, the idea is if you take these with you into a school to share with uh, uh, young children, we want them to see what it's like to have nice new books, <laughs> not just something that, that might be tatty. And again, the idea is to get them um, um, excited about learning and reading. And so this is a part of that process. All of the books here are arranged by a simplified Dewey um, by the author's last name, so it makes it really easy to, to find your way. Um, so for example, if you're looking for um, one of the, the Mog books or um, The Tiger Who Came to Tea, um, Judith Kerr would be under K-E-R. So um, again, it's, it's quite easy to navigate your way around here. So what you see in this section um, are different um, books related to what we have. What we had on one side was um, the folk tales and fairy tales. Um, um, so again, a lot of really classic stories, you know, like Cinderella, but we also have different versions of Cinderella. So we have um, Cinderella um, by Perrault, as well as Cinderella um, by more contemporary writers. There's also the Chinese Cinderella. So again, it, it just gives you a wide variety of um, ways to engage children. What I have behind me are um, novelty books or what I call books with movable parts. So some of them, you know, you'd expect would be for, for small children. So for example, like The Stick Man, you know, it's a board book um, for very young children. But um, there are also um, books that are a bit more engaging. So um, there's books 
um, related to science. So for example, if you open this up, it's a picture book. Again, the idea is to teach children in a way that's fun, that engages them. And so a lot of publishers um, have been really keen to um, just have um, a lot of brightly lit colors that, that um, convey some interesting facts to children. So we have um, a couple of, uh, of those as well. Um, here we have our diversity picture books. So this is a section um, which it's, it's kind of interesting. Um, I've, a lot of books these days are about representing um, people of, you know, different um, um, of color, people of different um, uh, of their sexual identity, um, people who have um, not necessarily middle class happy families, but who come from um, ho homes that, um, you know, where a parent has died or where they're dealing with important issues like grief. So um, this is uh, this section will uh, um, will will be really useful if you're um, trying to teach a lesson or to just reach out um, and um, talk to children about um, some of their emotions as well. Um, and then in um, we also have a lot of nonfiction books. Um, so again, they're divided by um, different subjects. We've got the sciences. We've got um, history over there. Um, we also have poetry and we also have um, a lot of fiction. So um, we've got American fiction that makes up um, a, a tranche of books we have for novels. Of course, our biggest section is um, obviously British fiction. And um, something I was um, uh, noted before is that um, a lot of our award-winning books um, we, that we collect, a lot of the criteria for these awards have changed. So one of the things that a lot of um, awarding bodies like um, UKLA, um, which is a, an award presented by teachers or by uh, the Kate uh, Greenaway and the Carnegie uh, Medal here in uh, the UK and the Newbery Medal presented in the US, is they're trying to be um, have more diverse representation. So um, you've got people of, of different abilities, um, people um, who might be um, facing um, some important issues. You also get people, you know, that, that speak more than one language or, you know, they're, they're just going through um, uh, different things that, you know, sort of speak to um, representing the world as it actually is. And um, having something um, interesting and um, um, I guess emotionally, um, that'll uh, emotionally collect, connect you with, connect with the readers. In terms of um, teaching and, and lesson plans, um, one of the things we have are different packets, again, that you can check out. And again, they're also um, including different units that you might teach. So this one happens to be a science unit um, that talks about the planets. And some of them have, um, some of them are games. Some of them have nifty posters again that can either be displayed or shown so that um, students can see um, what these um, look like up close and again it's just a way of enlivening a lesson for you. So what you have here is national curriculum material, um, teaching standards, um, as I mentioned um, lesson plans. So um, over here for example we've got um, primary science um, so it's again different science lessons that you could do over here we have reading schemes. Um, a lot of different schools might use different types of reading schemes, um, especially with the, the primary levels in order to teach them. And we think that it's important that you at least, you know, get, have um, some idea of uh, what, um, what might be in store from you, for you when, you when you go out on placement. Okay, so that's a very quick whistle stop tour of the teaching resources collection um, please uh, feel welcome to pop by um, i'm usually on staff um, during the autumn and i'm here um, most days except wednesdays so if you have any questions um, you can either ask me or um, one of the other librarians that's at the reference desk thank you